Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to say thanks to everyone that's wished me a get well soon message. Um, as you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better. My voice is never not going to be husky because that's just my voice, but I'm out of bed now. I'm very, very quickly making a speedy recovery. So yeah, thanks very much for all the messages. Uh, really nice of those who reached out. So this arrived today. Now, for those of you that have seen the community post that I posted yesterday, this is all constitutional stackers fault. He had this on his channel and every time I saw him put it in a video, it just made, made me want it more and more and more. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful silver bars I've ever seen. So I hope it looks just as good as it does on the videos in person. I'm going to start unboxing it here. And then once I've got it out of this main box, then we'll put it into like the little studio I've got. So the lighting's better and you can really appreciate it. So constitutional stacker, this is all your fault. I wouldn't have brought this bar if it wasn't for you. Keep showcasing it on your channel. Now, this has a bit of a premium, this bar. I couldn't get hold of it in the UK, so I had to purchase it uh, online. In the end, I got it through a company on eBay. Um, so if you're ever buying stuff on eBay, just a kind of quick disclaimer there. Always make sure you're looking at the feedback. You're checking that it's someone that actually specialises in precious metals. Don't just buy from a random person that's only got a handful of feedback and doesn't specialise in precious metals. That would be my opinion if you're buying from eBay. You want to buy from someone that's buying and selling silver all the time in huge quantities. They've got a huge feedback to represent their authenticity and just to ensure that you're getting the real deal because there's a lot of scamming going on on ebay there's a lot of kind of people buying what they think is pressure metals and they're not so just be very careful when buying on ebay i am a fan of buying gold and silver on ebay but you just got to do a lot of research up front so with that out of the way let's get straight into the video like i said i've ordered this all the way from america and it didn't take too long. It took around just under a week, I think, to arrive. So not too bad of a turnaround. Straight away, you can see it's really, really nicely packaged. This is the bar. Got lots of bubble wrap and stuff in there to protect it, which is good to see. Now we're going to switch to my regular setup. So here we go, we're now in my original setup. And here we go. Look at that piece of silver. Now this is a 10 ounce bar. It's from the Argentia Mint, I believe it's called. And it's an art Navia woman. Now, I've probably butchered that, but I'll put it on the screen so you can see how it's spelt. If you want to order your, your own version of this, like I said, it's quite a premium on these sort of items, but I think you can agree it's well, well worth the premium. Oh, I was about to rip that. Should I take it out the sill? I think I'm going to have to take it out the sill. Although she still looks stunning in the plastic, you can see 10 ounce fine silver, four nines fine. I think we're going to have to break the seal. Unless we can open it without breaking the seal. There we go. So I've damaged the seal there, but at least you can see that it was brand new sealed. And here we go, no gloves. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. Look how high relief it is. Look at it from the side. It is such high relief. It's an antique finish, so it's not too shiny, which makes it easier to record. Turn the light down a notch can really appreciate it now you have to admit that is one of the nicest looking silver bars you're ever gonna see 
like I said, they, they come with a premium, but when you're buying silver like this, you're not just buying a piece of silver, you're buying a piece of art. So, like I said in the post, Constitutional Stacker, this is all your fault. It's your fault for showcasing the twins, as you like to call it, because you've got two of these bars. But, absolutely beautiful piece of silver. Really, really nice thickness. Like I said, it's 10 ounces, so you can imagine it's got a nice bit of weight to it as well. Being that it's not got a proof finish or anything, it's nice to be able to hold it with my hands, not worry about ruining the, the proof finish. You can see it says Argentia, mint on the back, 10 ounce fine silver, four nines. The back isn't as spectacular as the front. It's got this nice pattern throughout it, but the real beauty is obviously the front. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you agree that sometimes it's nice to pay a bit of a premium for some nicer pieces? Personally, I've said it before in other videos, and I think it's very important that when you're stacking silver and gold to treat yourself once in a while, I think it becomes very mundane and very boring and hard to keep going with it if you're just buying tubes and kind of the same stuff all the time. If you're just buying generic bars or generic rounds in tubes or in monster boxes, yes, that's the best way to get closest to spot. Yes, in an investment look of things, that's probably the better way to go. But it also becomes very mundane, very boring. You need to chuck some of these premium pieces in the stack here and there just to keep you motivated and interested about stacking. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks very much for watching this video. And I hope you think this bar is as beautiful as I think it is. See you in the next one. Have a nice day.